Hey everybody, uh, Ed Schroer here with Rock Even Films, and uh, I am going to quickly show you guys how I made the Tron effect, similar to what is right here. Um, it's kind of rudimentary, but uh, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I did it, and this is my buddy Ian, um, and we just did this one night in front of a green screen, and as you can see, that is a paintball mask, and not an official Tron helmet. But uh, anyway, basically what we did was we took Ian here, uh, ignore this red line here, I don't know what that is, but he's in front of this green screen, and we just threw some blue tape on him to key out, and uh, you do not need the poster of Hot Chicks, but that uh, you can if you want. Anyway, um, so just you need you need to uh, need something to key out, whether it's green or blue. Um, so we had the green screen in the back so that we can key the background out and we had the blue tape so we could key that out separately from the green and I thought it turned out pretty well I mean this is half resolution and that's and there's a lot of elements here so my computer's a little slow but you can kinda see that we I added a glow to it and was able to key him out so uh, let's just go ahead and get started okay so let's just make a new composition based off the size so if you want to do that you just click uh, and drag your clip to this and this will create a whole new composition for it and fit it to the size you want so first thing I did was um, I needed to you need to pin you need to crop out everything that's not green um, and the problem we I ran into was obviously our green screen is extremely small and does not work for this uh, example very well, but we worked around it. Uh, I think that's like, four, I don't know, I want to say like four feet wide, so not very big at all. So if you're going to do this again, definitely get a wider big, a wider green screen so you can uh, have more action. Anyway, I got the pen tool, and you just want to, for me, uh, I got to pick what I want to keep, but you want to just crop out the green. Really simple. Um, and you know keep in mind some things will get cut off because we just did this really quick one night and just to see if we could do it so there's our clip and next thing you want to do is you want to go to layer I'm sorry you want to go to effect and keying and I really like key light 1.2 it's works really well for me so what I did first was I didn't key out the green first I keyed out the blue and you want to take your screen color here and I prefer to click the lightest color so probably this light blue will do pretty well and at first glance it doesn't look that great but um, one trick and this is how I was able to key out the blue is you want to go to your screen mat here and here it's going to say clip black is zero and your clip white is at a hundred you're going to want to switch those so that there you can kind of see he looks like a Mortal Kombat character now but you're going to want to just reverse those so that you can see that uh, it's starting to work and then you want to just adjust um, your your screen gain, screen balance and also screen blur works really well um, and I'm this will it, it'll also work a lot better if you light it correctly which we did not we didn't even have a, our light kit with us so everything here is kind of mm, not not as great as we want um, okay, so now that we have this, this is great. This is our top, our top layer, but we need, we need the bottom as well. So what you want to do is, and this is something I forgot to do, but we can just quickly do it. You want to duplicate your layer and bring it below your layer you just adjusted. Um, and let's go ahead and just reset the key light. So here it is. Um, obviously this is keyed out. It's no longer blue. Uh, excuse my own voice is uh, breaking everywhere going through puberty here um, and the lines are still kinda crappy but you can uh, adjust those I'm just gonna try and show you how that just real quick how we how we went ahead and did this and um, so you wanna take your bottom clip and now we're just gonna key out the green so key out the I, I preferred to key out the uh, lightest color like I was saying earlier and you just want to adjust that like so 
and okay that looks okay and um, now that he's keyed out uh, a couple things I did was I thought he whoa what am I doing here a couple things um, is that he he looks a little too bright for this background so what I did was I went ahead and took the bottom layer because this is him this is just you see that's just the normal layer and I took a let's see here a color I went to color correction and curves and I just sort of darken him so that he kinda of blends in with the, the uh, environment around him and also I, I just took a Tron picture from the video from the movie and it's kind of blue in that world and desaturated um, so you know just kinda of mess around with that until you get something that you like anyway that's pretty good so next thing we need to do is make some magic or whatever you want to call it and uh, go back to your top layer I'm just gonna call this uh, the tape so that we can kinda of know that that uh, this is just the tape and this is his body so go to the tape and uh, you wanna okay now we want to go to color correction hue and saturation and now um, you don't really want to mess with anything besides colorize and you can see now that it's coloring the tape obviously uh, I kicked up the saturation so it's a little more uh, bright uh, about to 55 is good and we want to head on over to the blue and that's about right but you know you can make them any color you want I mean possibilities are endless I think I, these are like four Mortal Kombat characters here um, so anyway um, set it to about blue whatever blue you want and then the final touch up you want to add is go to stylize and glow and what glow is going to do is basically um, just add a glow to your your Tron guy uh, this takes a little work and I don't have everything you know I'm just kind of winging this and that looks that looks okay I mean it's not bad really and uh, that's pretty much it that's exactly how I did the Tron effect uh, pretty simple really um, you just if I, if I just could do this over again I'd suggest um, lighting everything better you want to make sure you light the the green screen uh, aside from your character so that the green is clearly out it makes keying out much easier also I would have lit him a little better uh, his his blue the blue tape on him is just kind of uh, there's there's some certain places that make it hard for the key the keying to work so what you need to remember just you just need to make two layers and separate your tape from your body and if you want to go the extra step we can take these layers and go to layer precompose and we don't need to name it anything special that's fine and uh, take anything you want really um, I'll just grab a file I uh, let's see I used I used this and I just threw that behind him and so there you go uh, there's still some problems here you can see around him but you know I can we can just go back and fix those um, but really it's not that bad I mean I, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd say this is almost movie quality here what we're seeing this is uh, pretty spectacular in my opinion so anyway that's it uh, I'm Ed Schroer with Rock Haven Films and uh, I'll see you guys later